Hello fellow collectors, and welcome to Galagun Toys. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video, and today we are reviewing the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Majin Vegeta, and Super Saiyan 2 Son Goku. Uh, now let's have a quick look at the boxes before we jump into the figures. Uh, pretty standard all around, some really nice production images all around, but uh, the boxes are not what we're interested in. Some really nice images there. But yeah, let's get these out of the way and get the figures into frame. Okay, so straight up looking at the Goku, uh, he looks really, really good. I, I love this, uh, I love these effects. They look really good. They're a bit of a pain in the ass to get in but they are really solid. The overall sculpt is quite good. I have no complaints with it whatsoever. I think it's really nice. Stands out quite well. The shading, uh, the paint is all really nice. Uh, no, yeah, no real complaints here. Uh, the hair looks a little bit dull. Uh, at first I thought it was probably a little bit brighter than that, but um, I was wrong. The orange of his gi, I really like that. I think that's really good. But where this really stands out is these effects. Uh, these effects are really good. Uh, now, I'm not sure if it's going to be a common problem, but with mine, uh, I did notice that uh, a few of the diagrams for the effects on the box... Uh, completely wrong. So bear that in mind when you're putting yours together. If something seems like it doesn't fit, uh, do all the ones that seem to fit, and then whatever you've got left, maybe try swapping those around. That's pretty much what I did with both of them, and uh, it turned out to be that way. So yeah, really like the Goku. I think he's really solid, uh, and it's nice to finally have a decent Super Saiyan 2 Goku on the shelf, because uh, it's not... One they do a great deal of, uh, especially Bun Presto. So it's really nice to finally have a newer Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Or possibly... No, actually, no. There's definitely one other Super Saiyan 2 Goku I've got. Uh, S-Culture's one. But it's uh, a lot, lot older. Uh, it actually predates pretty much the entire Bun Presto wall, that one. But, yeah, really solid figure. And let's move on to the Vegeta. Okay, so here is the Vegeta, and he looks really nice. I really dig that. Uh, I feel like maybe the hair could have been a little bit more colourful. They could have put a little bit more effort into uh, just maybe some of the shading in the face. Uh, I just feel that was a little bit of a letdown. Uh, it stands a little bit... Oh, there we go, that seemed to have fixed it. So it was sitting in there a bit loosely. I just don't think I pegged it in all the way correctly. Okay, so Bunpresto haven't given us a great deal of Margin Vegetas. So it is really nice to have an updated uh, Margin Vegeta. Uh, my One of my uh, latest uploads was actually the Masterlize Ichiban Kuji Margin Vegeta. And I actually mentioned uh, we were awaiting this one to arrive. And, uh, I have to say, I do like that one more, but I really love the effects here. Uh, I think this is really good for a Bon Presto statue. Uh, you gotta remember, the other one is a Nichiban Kuji statue, and it is, uh, a lot bigger. You know, it's a lot higher quality. This is still very, very high quality, uh, and I have no complaints with it whatsoever. And, overall, a really nice figure. Um, give you guys a little bit more of a look there. But, yeah, it's it's really, really solid. I like the stand, too. Uh, it could be a little bit smaller, but because of the angle they're on, I guess uh, they wanted to make sure they were pretty sturdy, which I can understand, so I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, I've... We've definitely seen much bigger stands come across the review stand here at Gallup Gun Toys. But now that we've had a look at both of them, 
let's get them together. So I think that's pretty much how everyone's going to have them posed. I'm pretty sure that's how I'm going to have them posed in the thumbnail. But yeah, so I'll just give you guys a look sort of from every, from a couple different angles. So you can just get a sense of how this is going to look in a display or on your shelf. I think they look really good together. I'm really glad that I pre-ordered these. I think they're just great. They really are. Just fantastic. Alright. And they just complement each other just so beautifully. You know, they just they just go together like salt and pepper. <laughs> Alright, so let's do a quick height breakdown. Uh, we're not going to do a comparison today, uh, just because uh, these guys, I feel they don't really need a comparison to anything else, because they're most likely going to be displayed together uh, by most people. So we're sitting at almost 9 inches for Goku, uh, and Vegeta's almost about the same size. So a little bit under 9 inches for the pair, which is pretty respectable no complaints here whatsoever uh, and nothing I can really gripe about other than the effects being a little bit of a pain in the ass because the instructions uh, were incorrect but other than that uh, and I feel like it would be a dick move to detract a score based on that uh, I'm gonna give these guys a 10 out of 10 uh, they could be a little bit better in some places, mainly just the hair, uh, but I think that's more of a personal gripe to me personally. I don't like the dirty wash they do with this hair colour sometimes. Uh, but overall, for the paint and the sculpt uh, and the effects and overall presentation of them together, I'm really, really happy. And I think together they are a 10 out of 10. Um, separately, uh, separately, I think they're definitely a solid nine, but, uh, the fact that they go together and they fit together nicely, uh, to me, that just makes them a perfect ten. Alright fellow collectors, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget you can also follow me over on Facebook, at Toys. Thank you as always for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.